hi guys welcome back to my channel hope you are well so this is just the intro to um shop my stash basically i'm going to be um shopping my stash going through my makeup collection and seeing what i want to use for the coming week now because i used a lot of the makeup that i already had out for today for today's look I'm going to be using new makeup from tomorrow which will be Tuesday so it's going to be a Tuesday to Tuesday shopping my stash this week I'm really really getting into it and loving the fact that I can use all my um, older makeup rather than buying new purchases um, so yeah let's get into it let me show you what I'm going to pull for the week so Kathleen Lights is one of my favourites but again it's drying up um, probably next week I'll bring these out again um, but I just want to change them up um, then we have Shark Attack really really pretty it reminds me of um, NARS Orgasm um, but in the eyeshadow format so I really want to use that up then we have um, a shade called Copperfield which looks like that it's a really nice base shade that but I'm keeping the um, eyeshadow um, called Glow um, and I'm sure that's out of one of the Kathleen Light sets that she did so I'm keeping that in my drawer um, for next week then lastly um, we have the shade Oon now to be honest I didn't really this didn't give much pigmentation now it's alright as a highlight in a corner a highlight but even when I put it on you couldn't really see it um, so I'm going to put that back in the collection and maybe take it out next week as well um, lipsticks which I'm putting back are these ones I'm wearing this one now and it's in the shade Tell Laura um, it's just such a pretty red I absolutely love orange toned reds and this is just stunning now something that really shocked me because I was using it a lot over the week um, this one um, which I said that I really really couldn't get on board with and that I've never liked it it's Velvet Teddy by MAC um, I've really really grown to like it it's a really nice pretty everyday nude and I can appreciate now why people like it so much um, but I do have better nudes in my collection and that's what I was trying to get at last week um, but yeah them two are going back in the collection along with this revolution um, lip liner in the shade Regal it's a really really pretty lip liner I'm wearing it today underneath that charlotte tilbury tell laura lipstick it's so pretty i need to do a swatch of this needs um sharpening but that's what it looks like it, it pairs really really nicely with this lipstick that i'm wearing then i think everything else is just staying in so oops i keep it in in a drawer like that and it's um one two it's a four drawer which is really really handy right so we've got the l'oreal revitalift magic blur that i used last week i'm trying to declutter this from the collection so sort of panning it um so that is staying in then we have this number seven instant radiance foundation i've absolutely been loving this over the past week so i want that to stay in the collection um love this ps peaching highlighter um really really love it it's a highlighter um but i use it as a blush topper so that's what it looks like i'm going to see if it will show up let's do another swatch and maybe just one more for good measure is that showing up i think you can just see it on camera it's so so pretty um the blush that I haven't actually chosen a blush let me just go and choose a blush so I can show you what I'm using actually have I no I've not chosen a blush yet right so last week I used this blush like I said earlier so I'm swapping that out I will show you what I'm using once I've shown you everything um, 
colour pop. Last week I used this colour pop one as well, um, just to use before I put my eyeshadows on. As you can see, I'm hitting pan now. I'm hoping that you can see that anyway. Um, I've just had to put my light on just because it's getting a little bit dark. Hope there's not too much of a glare in the glasses. If there is, I'll um, re record this. Um, so, yeah. I've also used these a little bit, but I want to get some more use out of them. They're the Aust Australis Metallics, um, and they're in the shade. So that's what that one looks like. It's a really nice khaki, bronzy shade, and this one is in... I've just dented it. This one is in the shade JZ. Can you see that at all? And then we have a nice rose gold one. <coughs> Excuse me. And that's called guns and rose petals really really pretty i absolutely adore this shade um so yeah i want to get more use out of them i don't want them to go bad um so that's their staying in the collection and then this hanky panky shade i want to just see if i like it i mean so far this week i've not really liked wearing it um there's not much pigmentation even though it's super smooth still um, you can barely see it, if I'm being honest. I'm just trying to get it swatched for you so you might see it. See, I'm having to go in three times with that and you can only just make out. So I, I think after this week, I think I'm going to just get rid of it, to be honest. Um, then we have this Steeler one. I've not had a chance to use it yet, just because I didn't have makeup on every day of the week this week. Um and that's what it looks like it's super pretty um so i can't wait to start using that it is comparable to the australis one um so yeah this one is in the shade metallic laurel um so i'll be keeping that then i'm just going to keep this two-faced glitter glue in there and also i've not had a chance to use these moon dust ones so i want to keep these in here just in case i do manage to use it now i put in for this week i put in the um urban decay naked so i'm probably going to get to use this over the top of certain shadows um i'm not too sure about that one but if i don't get to use it i will roll it over to the following week until i have used it um so just leave that there um these products here they're all staying in so we've got um we've got benefit highbrow which i'm coming to the end of i really really love this product um so yeah we've got that and then we have got the mua brow define tinted brow mascara i really really like this product i've had it quite a while and i just want to use it up and i don't like the brush on it so what i actually do is take this brush out I mean it's okay um, but it's not as good as the brush on this um, and this is um, the Benefit Gimme Brow it's just a sample size um, and I just dip that into there um, because it's completely empty now this and I really really like the brush so I save this for when I do have um, brow gels and it goes on really really nicely then mascara um, I I want to carry on using this um, Deuce Punk Volumizer Mascara, which looks like that. Um, it really is a beautiful mascara. The wand is so, so nice. And it gives you that volumizing effect. So, they're staying in. Um, the eyeshadows, the blusher um the powder the lipsticks are all coming out um so i'm gonna i'm gonna show you what i'm actually putting in um new products this week so blusher um i've never actually used this um i think i got them from kiko in portugal when i went to portugal and i went um two years ago and i really really like them i love the packaging the packaging is super nice um this is in the shade zero one blending wave um really really pretty like pink blush um and i just want to see what it looks like i like the fact that it's got a mirror as well so they're really travel friendly um but yeah i really want to try this one out so i'm going to try that um powder wise um i love this i absolutely love it and it's got everything that you need for the face in it so it's the imagination and revolution 
palette and it's highlight to the moon I'm sure most of you have have, have this already um, as you can see I've hit pan already on pretty heart so I want to start using that and um, start panning that one these ones here are really nice as well the my guile um, I use that um, pretty much to set all my face um, apart from like under eyes which I use pretty hard um, sometimes I'll use Kayut, um, um for like the under eye as well um, and then we've got all these contour shades which when I'm light I go through literally and um, warrior they're the two light shades sometimes I'll just wear literally um, and they look great but when I'm tanned I will use warrior and can't deal together and it's just the perfect contour and then obviously all of these highlights i love all of them so i'll probably be using these um this week um i'll probably mix it up each day so we've got limited edition um slay my life slay my life is well the name speaks for itself i absolutely love it and then we've got angel face as well this is a really good palette for the price point. Um, I was going to do a separate review on this, um, which I still might do. Um, I've had it a while now. I use it constantly. As you can see, I've already hit pan on one of the shades. Um, and it's only £10, guys. If you haven't picked this up and you're thinking about it, and you're like umming and ahhing whether you should buy it or not, and you, you do need the powders and the contours and maybe some highlights, um, I'd say I'd say go and grab this you will not be disappointed um, and also Imogen is a really really lovely girl as well um, so yeah I think if, you, if you're thinking about getting it you should go and pick that up but don't let me don't don't let me tell you how to spend your money or anything like that um, so yeah I just wanted to put that out there um, next thing is my lips were really dry last week because we're coming into the colder months now um i decided to get this out of my collection it's just the bubblegum um lush lip scrub now i was going to buy some jeffree star ones but they are quite expensive and i do still have a lot left in that so i'm going to use this up um so that's that then as i said earlier i want to start using my palettes more i put myself on that no buy um i'm really determined to not buy a thing um makeup wise from november to november and even some clothes i don't need an awful lot of clothes i've got what i need really um so i, I can't perceive me getting anything um so yeah i really want to start using this again you can see how i've barely used it it is in pristine you know there's there's no handprints on it or anything like that um and then obviously that's what it looks like inside now i love the golden shades in this palette like i love half baked and i think um where is it i think this moon dust would go brilliantly over the top of it and if you're interested this moon dust is called chemtrail so i think they would work really well together in fact let's try it let's do a swatch these are still super soft right so that's what that looks like if you can see it and then let's pop a bit of this over the top this is just really going to highlight it or you could just you could just pop a bit in the middle that is super super stunning i'm definitely going to do a look with that um and yeah i'm really really looking forward to using this palette again actually um so yeah that's the palette of the week that i'm going to use um and then we have <laughs> last week i only pulled two lipsticks this week I'm pulling four um, just because I want to basically try some lipsticks um, that I'm not sure about. Um, this is one of them and I did mention, I think I did mention this in my declutter lipstick or I might not have. Um, but this is one of them I'm, that I'm not sure about and it's the Essence Matte Long Lasting Lip Gloss. Now when I first got them I've got a few of these in my collection, I think about three of them. Um, 
I didn't I wasn't sure and I've not really worn it to be honest this is in the shade 02 beauty approved right, let's just see it comes with a doe foot like that and it's kind of a mauve shade oh it smells lovely so let me pull my jumper up a bit so that's what that one looks like really really nice just gonna pull this up don't want lipstick on a white jumper so yeah that's that I actually like it but it's whether it will last on the lips um because they have got some really really good lipsticks that do last for hours on end like the Too Faced Melted Mattes they are absolutely beautiful um but yeah that's one of them and then I pulled this matte me birthday suit so that's the other neutral that I want to use and again that comes with a doe foot like that this one looks stunning so I'm just going to let that dry down and then I pulled two reds now I've, I think I've only worn this one so this needed to be pulled and this is an orange toned red like the one I'm wearing now and it's matte And then I pulled this one. This is the Australis Bella Lip Matte Lip Cream. And I know for a fact I absolutely love this. I got this off my friend in Australia. She buys all my Australis um, lip products and, well, lip products, eye products, whatever she sends me, you know, from Australis because I can't really get it. Well, I can, but the shipping is super expensive. So, I mean it's goals this is goals it's super super nice now that one hasn't dried down yet that one's birthday suit it's super pretty though um this one what shades this sam right so the astralis one here is called san francisco and then we have the uh, maybelline matte which is shade 955 in the shade Craving Coral. Now, they're the lipsticks that I'll be wearing like up all this week. Um, now, I've used, like basically I'm gonna to have to go from Tuesday to Tuesday, because I've already done my look with um, the um, makeup that I had from last week. Um, so I'm going to go from Tuesday to Tuesday with all the makeup that I've shown you. I don't think there's anything else for me to show you. Um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to using these products. It's almost like getting new makeup because I've not used some of these items. Um, and I've just been buying things, like buying makeup after makeup. Um, you know, I've been forgetting about products that I already have in my collection. So yeah, I'm really, really looking forward to using these. And um, I'll let you know my thoughts at the end of the week. The only the only disappointing product of last week were the Colourpop um, Super Shock eyeshadows. But they don't last a long time. Um, I should have been using them a lot, a lot more than I have. Um, I'll definitely be keeping... Where is it? Is it this one? Nope. I think it's this one. Yeah, it's this one. I'll definitely have to keep um, this one in the shed cheap day in the collection. It's just completely dry. I don't really think I'm going to get anything out of that if I'm being completely honest. Yeah, I think that bit's going to have to go. I know you can repress them, but that bit is so dry um, that there is no pigment coming off it anyway. So I might just have to use this bit here. Um, which is like half the shadows missing now then um which is mm, it's it's not great is it um but that's my own fault for not using them and not getting not getting the use that um i should have but yeah i mean it's, it's definitely made me think about not buying like new makeup and using the products that i already have in my collection
so yeah i'm really looking forward to that i'm looking forward to giving you my thoughts on everything that i've picked for this week um if you do these kind of videos i'd really really love to watch them i'm already watching um a few videos like this that have given me inspiration to do this which i'm super appreciative for and also if you've subscribed to my channel recently um i'm super appreciative for that as well if you haven't and would like to please subscribe it would mean the world to me and um, please like and i'll see you in my next video bye